We're gonna see what's behind this panel of ugly. <laughs> I did this one. I did this one on Instagram. I recorded it for Instagram, and there's a big hole behind there. Oh, sorry, Jeez. So hopefully there's not a hole behind this wall too. I don't think there is though, because that's just a closet over there. So yeah, it doesn't make sense that there'd be anything there. But you never know. Hmm. Don't get the rubber. See that beautiful wallpaper under there. Oh. Yay! There's nothing! Yay! Alright. Careful, my husband, don't step there. 33 and 1 fourth. Alright. Yay, I'm so glad that's gone. It was so ugly. Nasty. Ew, yeah, I know. It's so gross. Oh, I think I'd rather this. No, I'm going to paint it. Well, I'm going to clean it and then yeah, no, paint the whole wall. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Monday and it's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sitting outside on the steps. Kids are playing. They've been needing to come outside, but I was waiting for Noah to go up for his nap because I don't know if it's just me or what, but it is so hard to bring a one-year-old outside. I just can't take my eyes off of him and it's just like, I don't know, it's exhausting. I just have to follow him around everywhere. I can't focus on anything else. He's just like running off the grass, like running on the driveway. It's especially worse when we bring him in the front. Um, when we go in the back, it's a little bit better because it's like fenced in backyard, but still he's just like into everything. So it's just easier to wait till he takes a nap and then bring the kids outside um, and then a lot of the time what I'll end up doing is just letting him like go outside and play on the deck that way he's like getting outside but the deck is kind of like a big playpen he's like contained I don't know I do bring him outside and play in the grass but I have to be like in the mood and ready to deal with that um, sometimes I'm just not and today I definitely was not feeling like that careful Madison Madison don't push him fast his feet could get stuck under there Anyway, yeah, outside watching the kids play. I feel like they just keep arguing with each other. Today has been a day so far. and It's only halfway done. I've had to tell them to just like stop talking to each other. I don't know what to do when they get like that and they're just like bickering back and forth constantly. I'm just like, stop talking. Just don't talk to each other, okay? Um, and today I felt like I didn't even leave the kitchen. Like I felt like I was in the kitchen all day. They were just like constantly eating and snacking and I was like cleaning up and putting stuff away. And I made food. I made chicken that I had in the fridge that I had to use up before it went bad. So I made, um, I made chicken fajita, like chicken fajita, chicken. So I had that for lunch. I didn't have any peppers, so that sucked, but at least I had something somewhat healthy for lunch. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I felt like we did not or I didn't leave the kitchen all, all day. Like this is the first time I've gotten out of the kitchen. <laughs> and I don't know, if today's like today, that makes me question whether or not I'm actually gonna be able to do this homeschool thing, like well, <laughs> but I don't know. I just keep reminding myself that if we have days where it's just hard or school is not happening, that that's okay. Like it doesn't have to happen. We don't have to do school every single day like we have weekends that we can do it too and we can make our own thing and our own schedule and everything like that but I definitely feel like I need to figure out a schedule with them like I think I'm gonna actually like write it out so we know like our day like break down our day kind of I think that will help me too but I don't know I'm glad we're not starting like I'm not starting on I'm not starting school in September I'm giving ourselves a break I feel like I need a break and I need some more time to get ready for this, so 
yeah we only just decided to do this to do homeschooling like a few weeks ago so I need to prepare myself more I need to, to I need to prepare ourselves more <laughs> but this morning I was super proud of myself I actually did a workout for the first time in forever I literally don't know when the last time was that I did an actual workout I've done like some exercises here and there like a few of this and a few of that but nothing where it was just like straight in a row and like I ended up sweating from it so yeah I felt like I did a real workout this morning it was only like 15 minutes but it was one on YouTube and I forget what the channel was but I'll find it in case you're interested but it was a like 15 minute 15 minutes that's it <laughs> and I felt like I felt it after 15 minutes like I was tired I was sweating I took a shower right away so I'm out of shape <laughs> but it felt really good to do that and I feel like I want to keep doing it like I hope I can keep doing it it's only 15 or 20 minutes each like I should be able to find that in my day god the neighbors probably hate us I feel like I'm always yelling at them <laughs> I thought they wouldn't fight this much I was like oh they have like a five-year age gap it's not gonna be bad they're not gonna fight they're gonna get along they're gonna be too far apart to fight but nope so today we actually had our deck knocked down we're having a new one built which we really didn't want to do because it's kind of expensive but the other one was really old and wobbly and unstable and like one of the long beams underneath it was just like rotted out but yeah basically it just wasn't safe when we had our inspection done the guy pointed out that it probably wasn't in the best shape no close the door so anyway, this is what it looks like right now. This is what we've got right now in our backyard. Just where the deck used to be. And I was just talking to Greg, thinking like what we should do with this. I don't know, this isn't really anything. It's just two broken pieces of concrete. So I was gonna like see if the guy could break that up and get rid of it. But I don't know, that'd probably be like an extra charge. So maybe we should just leave it. And then this, was like an old step that's just still here um and our like the old deck steps were o over it so it was like covered or whatever but i don't know i still think that is pretty stupid too to just leave there look did it used to be yellow at one point and then green <laughs> but anyway so we have that here we're gonna be getting rid of all of this stuff eventually the rail railroad ties i think those are called we're gonna take those out, but <laughs> Greg's in the window. He brought me uh, paint <laughs> paint samples. I'm gonna go inside and look at those. But I just wanted to show what our outside looks right now. Looks like right now. So there we go. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my bathroom. I was just gonna end this video, but something weird is happening. Um, I walked into the bathroom and there was water all around the toilet on the floor splashed on the tub splashed on just like all over here water all over the toilet seat all over here side of the tub the garbage can splashed over here i was like what the frick and, and water on the floor over here i was like what the frick happened in here like what happened so i'm like wiping it all up and then i feel a drip and i don't know if you guys can see that but there is a drip all right up there and I just like went pee and as I was peeing I felt another drip on me so something's going on and the only thing I could think is that the tub upstairs which is directly over this bathroom is leaking down into this bathroom which is so awesome so I'm gonna test it I think Greg just took a shower so that's the only thing I could think of is that while he was taking a shower it was just leaking 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 and then you know, I came in here afterward and found water all over the place, which is weird because he's taken showers up there before. I don't know, maybe it's not. He's taken showers up there a few times now. We started using the upstairs bathroom, or he did anyway. And nothing was leaking before, so I don't know. I'm going to go turn it on and we'll see what happens. All right, so I expected the water to be like pouring out of the ceiling, <laughs> but it's not. I do see drips. I see like one drip, two drip, and then there's another one over here, and then there's another one over here, but definitely not dripping enough to cause such a big mess of water on the floor. Only thing I could think of is maybe it needs somebody standing in the tub. 
to like put pressure in the tub and maybe that is causing something. I don't know. It's a mystery right now. I have to figure it out, but that was really weird and it's definitely dripping because I got dripped on twice. It's not humidity because nobody took a shower down here this morning, so it's not like moisture that dripped. So I don't know. Really weird. What?